Hi there, welcome to the Elusive Desires exhibition here at the Varley Art Gallery. This show, curated by Marissa Largo, features the works of Ness Lee and Florence Yee, both of whom are queer Asian diasporic artists. The artists reimagine ways of knowing and relating to one another. They're seen to be queering different aspects of culture. Queering can refer to drawing out and investigating what is not considered to be the norm. In doing so, they open up space to consider ways that people can respect and relate to one another with kindness, care, respect, and equality. Essentially, they create ideas and paths for a new kind of world. Today we'll be looking at and discussing Florence Yee's work in this exhibition. In the introduction gallery, we're first met with Florence's oil painting entitled Finding Myself at the Varley Art Gallery. In this work, Florence creates a self-portrait of himself, standing almost like a tourist in front of Varley's paintings. This work is part of an ongoing investigation that Florence has made in response to how Canadian museums seem to uphold settler colonial narratives through the art that they display. In this painting, Florence's active gaze represents the desire to find accurate representations of Canadian history. By inserting their presence into the image, they ask how they can fit into the ideas and history of Canada presented at museums. By positioning this painting alongside Fred Varley's, who's a member of the Group of Seven, we're invited to question our understanding of history as depicted by the Group of Seven's paintings. Such works presented the Canadian landscape as wild and without human life. This worked to erase past Indigenous presence on the land, as well as histories of migration and anti-Asian hate. Florence begs the question, what is missing from the archives? As we move into this room, we encounter Florence's work entitled Selected Hauntings. This work consists of 12 organza fabric panels, each containing a phrase or a sentiment that has haunted the artist in various ambiguous ways throughout their life. The phrases touch upon the failure to meet gender and racial expectations as a queer Cantonese person. While drawing on experiences as a child to immigrant parents, the work also explores how histories and identity structure life in often ambiguous ways. Through hand embroidery, Florence examines the notion of labor, the standard by which racialized and migrant bodies have historically been valued within Canadian immigration contexts. Viewers are invited to walk around and in between these ghostly panels. And as these phrases hang over us, we can begin to grapple with the challenges of queer and diasporic identity. Seeing these words and sentiments together, Florence brings together seemingly isolated feelings to form a narrative, a narrative that gives voice to unspoken trauma and can provide a path to healing. The artist hopes that this installation can act as an invitation to express vulnerability in day-to-day -day conversations. The last piece that we'll be looking at is entitled, Please Help Yourself a collaborative work between Florence and Arzu Salamzadeh. These ceramic tangerine peels commemorate the Cantonese hospitality practice of sharing among guests or strangers. Florence proposes that they become alternative monuments to represent the Canadian public. The leftover peels document an ephemeral encounter of a welcoming interaction, that which is often not recorded in traditional culture. Instead of traditional monuments that commemorate an individual person, usually a colonial figure, Florence investigates how a moment of sharing and being together can be an alternative monument that speaks to the experience of community. Their work encourages each and every one of us to be open, welcoming individuals in order to create a better world. Florence queers ideas of Canadian paintings, monuments, and discourse by encouraging the viewer to question the rules and standards of the world we live in and to imagine otherwise. Thank you for watching. This program is made possible by the Varley Mackay Art Foundation, Canada Summer Jobs, and TD Bank.